All right. Really happy with that game. Uh, I think we played the way we we felt like we could play. Uh, obviously, Quentin Dormandy played a heck of a game. Um, we said all along he was vying for being the starting quarterback, and you can see why. He's a, he's a talented player also, and he had a really good game. Uh, uh, he threw the ball tremendously well. So um, uh, I can't say enough good things about our whole team. I, I thought we played in all phases. We played well. Uh, defense got six sacks. Uh, our offense moved the ball and, and scored points, and uh, and our special team played good. So I, I, you know, I'm I'm pleased with the game. You know, we go to the next one. It's one, you know, it's one every week. But uh, but I was pleased that we played the way we felt like we could play, and that's uh, that's a step forward for this football team. And we're three and one, so um, that keeps us right in the race where we want to be. And the home crowd was great. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, the Fiesta group, <laughs> we'd like to have them every week, man. They they, uh, they got into the game, and it, I think it helped our players too. Hi, Coach. Uh, Vinny, CBS San Antonio. It seems like maybe after the season opener you said, I don't recall exactly, but people had picked you to finish near the bottom. So how pleasing? Or are you surprised at all with this 3-1 and one start now? Yeah, we were, uh, you know, of course, whoever picks that, I don't know. But, I mean, yeah, we were picked last in the league by several people or whatever. But we, we don't listen to that. We're, we're uh, you know, we we felt like we were going to have a good football team. I think we are. I think we represent the city well. And, uh, you know, we're right in the picture where we want to be. So 3-1 uh, and one is the best of any team in our division. So. Or in our conference, so uh, uh, like I say, I'm pleased n not only for the win, but how solid we played. You know, we we played like a good football team plays. Now we got to continue that. I understand that. And and on Quentin, uh, he's traveled quite the professional career road, and I guess even dating back to his college days. So, how pleasing is it for you to see him kind of in a home area from Bernie High School here in the Alamo Dome? Do what he did tonight. Yeah, it was especially sweet for him. You know, uh, you know, anytime you play in your hometown or, or close to your hometown, I mean, you know. So, um, and I'm sure he had family and friends. I know he had a lot of family and friends there that were pulling for him. But I, you know, I said going into the game. I mean, it was it was a close uh, competition in training camp. Between the two quarterbacks, and Garbage really played well for us. But but uh, Dormandy came out and did the same thing. So uh, so I'm I'm really pleased for him. Coach James Larson with Pro Football Newsroom. Obviously, defensive performance stepped up a lot compared to last week. Six sacks. You already mentioned talked about that, and just the way their defense they held them to two for eleven on third downs. What did you see this week from your defense that, that was different from last week, execution wise? Well, I think we had three sacks last week. I mean, <laughs> it wasn't that we don't. Have, we have a strong pass rush, so uh, and, and we had a chance to win last week. We didn't, but uh, but uh, you want to see a team that improves, and I think we did that. You know, Michigan was a good team. They they were two and one going into the game, so and uh, uh, they had beaten St. Louis, so. Uh, so they're, you know, they're they're a good football team. They beat St. Louis at St. Louis, so uh, we knew they were going to be a challenge. But our guys rose to the occasion. How important was it to have Bryce Thompson back in your secondary today? Yeah, Bryce is right. He's a really good f football player, and uh, I thought our secondary really played well again. I mean, we're if we're not first in the league, we're pretty close to the top of the league in pass defense anyway, going in and. Uh, you know, when they take off the six sacks we had, they didn't make much passing yardage either this game either. Coach Phillips, Nicholas came in Paisano. I want to ask you, so with the fourth and twelve conversion, that's like something unique to the UFL. How as a you know defensive coach, how do you attack that um, play? Because I know around the league, um, defenses have struggled in those situations. Yeah, I mean, fourth and 12, I mean, it's it still should be a defensive advantage. I mean, 12 yards is hard to make on one play. And so um, it's it's been made, a, and we made it, you know, and it's been made a couple of times in the last couple of weeks since people see that. But um, but it's, it's still hard to make, and especially with our rush 
and, uh, and, and our secondary zone coverage that we played against it was just hard to throw against. So uh, I was pretty confident going, going, going into that play that, uh, you know, that we might be able to stop them. But they, uh, uh, they, they ran some, you know, they ran some good routes uh, against us overall. But like I say, their passing game really fell down because of our rush. Hey, Coach, uh, Sebastian Fier on UFL.com. We talked about the pass for us. Um, do we have any updates on outside linebacker Delonte Scott coming back? Yeah, I mean, he wasn't able to go this week, and he's obviously he's one of our best rushers, but we, you can see we have other guys that can step up too. Uh, so, uh, but Delonte hopefully will be back next week. So we're, we're looking forward to him coming back. And then do you mind uh, taking me through that decision to challenge that play on the second quarter with Dormy getting hit on the sidelines there? Do you think it was a late hit or up high? Yeah, I, you know, the guy stepped out of bounds. I mean, our guy stepped out of bounds, stepped out of bounds, and their guy was out of bounds, standing out of bounds, and hit our guy. Now you can't tell me that 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 in a foul, you know. And we had momen- we had momentum there, and I thought we'd score again before the half if they if we get that penalty, and that's why I challenged it. Normally, I wouldn't challenge anything to the fourth quarter, and games on the line, but I, th- I saw an opportunity there. And it was obvious he stepped out of bounds. And to me, uh, they're going to have to explain it to me again why a guy hitting a guy when he's already out of bounds from out of bounds isn't a foul. You know, I just, I can't, I still don't understand that. Coach, Quentin Dormady took a lot of deep shots in this game. Was that just part of the offensive game plan based on his skill set? Or was that something the defense was showing you that you wanted to take advantage of? What's that? Quentin's deep shots, was it just using his skills or is it something the defense was showing? No, he's, he's. I think I said going in, I probably shouldn't have said it, but he's a tremendous deep ball thrower. He's got a great touch on the ball, and he can throw it so far that, uh, you know, he, he's, uh, he gives us that, that long ball threat anytime. And you saw it tonight. I mean, he, he, can, he can wing the ball, and he's got a good touch on the, on the deep ball. So, uh, yeah, it, it gives us another dimension in our offense, I think, you know, because – the completions and so forth. He's got a strong arm, so he, you know, the short passes he gets there very quickly. Um, I thought I thought one one uh, one to Latimer. He kind of laid up early in the game. I think he could have drilled it in there, but but other than that, I thought he played really well and threw the ball really well. And now you guys are on the road for three straight. How do you keep the momentum going and make sure the energy is high next time you guys are back in here? Yeah, I mean, you know. You <laughs> You're on the road every week, you know, because we're coming from Dallas to even, but we get a home crowd here, which is great. But uh, actually, we don't have to travel to to go to Arlington. So our guys actually sleep in their own bed, you know, the night before the game. So, uh, but yeah, I mean, you're still it's still a home crowd for them. Uh, but um, you know, we did well in Memphis. I, I think we'll I think we'll do fine on the road too. One more question? Maybe not. <laughs> All right, well, thank you all. Appreciate, appreciate you all. Hey, Quentin, congratulations. I'll just start with the obvious question. Uh, what was this day and night like for you start to finish, kind of being back in Bernie Greyhound country and inside the Alamo Dome, friends and family tonight? Yeah, it was super cool. Uh, full circle moment for sure. Uh, super excited to have my whole family down here and um, obviously tremendous game. So um, it, was, it was awesome to be out there and uh, looking to build off of it going forward. So just one game, but after the road you've traveled, battling the injuries and such, does this feel like any sort of a springboard perhaps moment for you? Uh, I mean, I think that's kind of what this league is, right? Um, You know, everybody's here trying to make it to the next level, trying to showcase, um, you know, what we can do. Um, And I think, you know, a lot of people did that tonight. So, like I said, um, you know, as a team, we're going to build off this. And, you know, a bunch of individuals are are looking to uh, build off as well moving forward the rest of the season. 
Quentin, obviously, like you mentioned, a long road to get here, especially with just some of the drama last year with Orlando and that whole debacle. What does it mean to you just to come back here throughout this long journey, get a start, and get a win in your opening game back? Yeah, it's awesome. Um, super uh, grateful for the opportunity from um, this staff. And, um, you know, we got a great team. Um, it's fun to be in the locker room and super excited. And like I said, I'm just excited to build off this moving forward and catch the momentum as we go on a little road streak. Seemed like you were throwing the ball qu deep quite a bit today. Was there anything specific you saw defensively that allowed you to do that, or was it just, just what happened on the field? I mean, yeah, we knew it was going to be a battle of one-on-ones uh, going into the game. They were going to play a lot of man. So um, we got a lot of speed out there and a lot of playmakers. So um, that was kind of the game plan going in was let's try to, you know, push the issue a little bit um, when we can. Um, and early in the game, they were giving it to us, and then they, they you know, made some adjustments coming out of halftime and, um, you know, took some of that away and made it a little tougher. Um, but, I mean, overall, O-line held up great um, for me to be able to get the ball downfield, and um, then we made plays when we needed to. Well, I, um, talk about the defensive line for me. You know, you guys really kind of took over the game, six sacks. It was really Michigan couldn't do much on offense. Can you just go ahead and talk about that group? Yeah, man, um, you know, all those guys, me and all those guys, you know, we work hard every day. You know, we come in, um, you know, ready to work. And, you know, we knew that uh, this was a good week to get back on track, you know, um, come back. And, you know, just, we wanted to pre perform well. And, uh, you know, I feel like we did a good job today, so. Quentin, I think I saw at the end of warm-ups you took a moment there with your family before you went back into the locker room. Can you tell me kind of what that experience was like for you and what that moment meant for today? Yeah, I mean, um, obviously anytime, you know, my family can, can be here. And then obviously with this being my first start this season, um, you know, it's, it's cool to have my kids there and stuff. Um, that's, you know, they're really important to me. So for them to, you know, be out there and, and get to get to see me and stuff, that was the first time I've seen them in a couple of weeks. Um, and so it's, uh, it's special when they're here and, and get to see their dad play for sure. Are they still based over in Nashville? Is that where you guys were? Yeah, they're uh, they're in Nashville. They're planning to come down for a couple of weeks here and catch these next two games, and then um, it worked out, you know, that I was gonna get get some starts here. So um, super cool that that they were here for that and and got to witness it for sure. You have three little ones, right? Yeah. And, and then I know you said the rest of your family was uh, they're based up in the Dallas area now. Did anybody yeah. else come down? How many people do you have in the building today? Yeah, my uh, my parents were here, and then. Um, the rest of my family and my father-in-law was here. Good. Jordan, how did you feel about the play of the defense overall today? What jumped out to you? Um, we stepped up on our details. Uh, we were really, you know, honed in on the details about. Um, what we had to do with our assignments, and we all, excuse me, we were all on the same page, and I feel like we dominated today. Was there anything in particular that led to the amount of sacks you guys were able to get? Where did all that pressure come from? Oh, absolutely. We uh, put a put a challenge to the D-line this week uh, to get after the quarterback, you know, because last week we really didn't get to A.J. as much as we wanted to, so we had a challenge this week, and those guys stepped up and got after that, man. Yeah, Jordan, with the injury to Chase uh, going in with quarterback two, was there any change in mentality on defense, thinking you guys had to take the game over uh, potentially? Uh, you know, at this level, man, I feel like it's next man up, you know, and so um, we really didn't take too much account into that, you know, because we felt like the offense, you know, those two guys were really good quarterbacks, in, you know, in general. So, I mean, I hate that for Chase, you know, but next man up and hey, Q stepped in the ball today. Jordan, for you, obviously, back with the San Antonio Brahmas this year, but so many new faces across the board with, you know, mm -hmm. throughout the merger and all that. What has it been like for you just trying to gain chemistry with these guys and, you know, building that camaraderie that you had last year with a lot of different teammates? Right, right. Yeah, man, it's, uh, it was a big change, you know, because we built a lot of bonds and stuff last year. Um, but, you know, I know a lot of these guys from throughout the XFL last year, and I feel like we really made an all-star team with some good guys around the league. So it really – you know, it wasn't hard to build chemistry because, you know, you look to your left and you look to your right, you got guys like you, you know what I mean? Joe, I wanted to ask you, so 
talking about like the fourth and twelve conversion, something very unique to this league. I want to ask you, you know, as the leader of the defense, mm-hmm. how do you guys execute, you know, a play like that? You know, you think twelve yards, that's like we can we can take care of that. Right. How as a defense can you guys, you know, um, execute and stop that play from mm-hmm. you know happening? Um, you know, so going through film and stuff like that, you kind of see what their main go-to plays are. Um, and today when they got that one, I felt like we kind of should have been in a, a little bit of a more match. Um, just, you know, just because they were sitting down right in front of the sticks. And, you know, that's kind of a pitch and catch ball. But uh, really just going into it, man, you just got to have the mentality to get off that field. That's a, it's a tough play because, like you said, 4 and 12 seems kind of long, but man, it, gets, it gets completed a few times. Jordan, what does it mean to you just for this team to be three and one and off to such a strong strike this season? Oh man, honestly, um, this is really uh, we got a really impressive team, you know. And actually seeing it during camp and actually seeing us get to the season and kind of keep going and really, you know, show what we can do to other people, it's, it's going to be a good year. It's really promising. It's going to be almost a month until you guys are back in this building again. What do you have to do as a team to make sure next time you're here, the fans are still, you know, on board with you guys and still ready to bring that energy? What do you? Have to um, we definitely got to go win on the road. Um, we got to play in environments where we don't have all our fans. Um, but at the same time, though, you man, we just got to win games and just bring back that same energy that we had leaving today, come back in a few weeks. Yeah, Jordan, talk about the fans here today with the Fiesta and everything going on. You talk about that energy. It seemed like the team really built off that from the opening kick. Absolutely, man. You know, and uh, yesterday we had some events and stuff like that around the city. Uh, we went out and kind of like, viewed some of Fiesta because I heard that it's everywhere, man. It's just so much going on. And, uh, you know, just kind of seeing the, the camaraderie from the city around this event right here, man, and them showing up today, you know, that, that said a lot to us. And, you know what I mean, they turned it up on third downs on defense, man. We love that. Love that from the crowd.